Hi everybody, welcome you all by Pantech e-learning. Now we are going to see the project about new file level active neutral point clamp to converter. In this project, first we are going to see the basic block diagram. This block diagram shows uh, overall view of the project. The PIC controller and the TLP 250 driver and the main power circuit based on active neutral point clamped converter. For this we have PIC controller and TLP 250 driver circuit. These two are powered up by 12 volt AC supply and the 5 level active neutral point clamped converter circuit is fed by a power transformer and that transformer AC is converted to DC by using a bridge rectifier and a filter circuit. And finally the circuit has a R load, resistive load, so we can able to get the output waveform across the resistive load. Next, this is a PIC controller. Uh, as I said in the block diagram, we need a controller. Here we have used a PIC controller 16F877A. So here we can able to see the PIC controller IC and the power circuit for that PIC controller. That is a 0 5 volt uh, power supply is provided over here, and this whole circuit is powered up by a 12 volt AC supply and next this is a driver board this driver board consists of a TLP 250 driver IC which is going to isolate the controller pulse from the main circuit this driver board is mainly used to isolate and amplify the pulse from the controller unit this section is the input of the controller that is the pulse from the controller unit is about 5 volt that 5 volt uh, pulse is given to over here and next the output of the driver circuit is going to be fetched over here and the output will be approximately around 12 to 15 volt here there is uh, 6 legs that is this board consists of uh, 6 legs of TLP250 driver circuits this is the first leg, second leg and third leg, fourth, fifth, sixth so there are 6 legs of TLP250 driver circuit is present in a single PCB Next, this is the overview of the PIC controller and uh, TLP250 driver which is used for this project and this transformer is going to power up the controller that is a step down transformer 230 to 12 volt that is given to the PIC controller power supply unit and this transformer is as a 12 volt 5 tapping transformer so here we have 12 legs 2 boards so the pulses from the controller are given over here that is a 5 volt pulse and after isolation and amplification we are going to get the pulses across this region and each leg is powered up by individual tapping that is each tapping consists of 12 volt this transformer is also like a step down transformer with multiple tapping 230 to 12 volt so since this is a 12 volt 5 tapping transformer there are 5 12 volts available as isolated and these tappings are given to the each leg single leg so there are 12 legs are provided with 12 tappings this is the TLP250 driver circuit diagram here you can able to see this is the TLP250 IC and uh, input from the controller PWM pulse is given over here and the output of the uh, TLP250 driver is going to derive from here gate and the source and next this is the main power circuit diagram this is a 5 level active neutral point clamp converter circuit diagram here as I have said here we are going to use 12 MOSFETs to form this circuit MOSFET 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 so these 12 MOSFETs are going to be switched on and off to get the 5 level output at the load side here the load is used as a R load, resistive load and the input will be input of this circuit that is the main power uh, DC voltage is given over in this region here it is positive and negative that is the ground so from this circuit we are going to get the output of 5 level inverter output so this is the main power circuit so the pulses are derived from the PIC controller so the PIC control pins are 15, 16, 17, 18, 23, 24, 25, 26, 19, 20, 21 and 22. 
so these pins are going to be going to generate the pulses from the controller and that is provided to the driver circuit after that it is going to be fed to the MOSFETs corresponding to the circuit diagram M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, 7, 8 up to 12 so these pulses are given to these MOSFETs and we are going to get the output file level output file level inverter output by using the PIC controller here is the switching pattern that is switching states that is a uh, VDC by 2 that is VDC DC is the uh, maximum voltage so VDC by 2 to get that half the voltage we are going to switch on M1, M2, M3, M4 and M5 and correspondingly M8, M9, M10, M11, M12 are going to be uh, inverted pulse inverted states that is if this is 1 M8 will be 0 so in this way we will be generating the pulses for the half the voltage VDC by 2 the same way VDC by 4 has 4 stages so these 4 stages has uh, 4 switching patterns V2, V3, V4 and V5 so according to these patterns we are going to generate the pulse from the PIC controller and it is going to be fed to the MOSFETs and we are going to get the file level output here is a pulse comparison this pulse comparison is for the switching pulse of 8th eighth eighth pulse that is a uh, MOSFET 8th pulse M8 here you can able to see the voltage level this yellow color yellow color pulse is for the from the controller here you can able to see the voltage level here the voltage is set, at, set voltage is uh, that is a uh, volt per division is 5 volt for channel 1 and channel 2 channel 1 yellow color is the pulse from the controller unit from the pick controller this is fed to the TLP250 driver board and after the TLP250 driver board the output will be amplified and isolated that waveform is shown over here here you can able to see the amplitude uh, has been increased after the TLP250 driver board the green color is the pulse from the driver board this voltage level is approximately 15 volt and the from the controller is approximately 4 voltage this waveform is derived from that PC DSO and here is the main hardware image fully uh, the overview of the full hardware images here you can able to see the pick controller and transformers here this, there is a 12 volt 5 tapping transformer and here there is another one 12 volt 5 tapping transformer and the TLP250 driver board 2 6 like to TLP250 driver board and here this is the main power circuit of the 5 level active neutral point clamped converter it has a uh, it is similar to the circuit diagram what it is shown and here there is a 12 volt transformer and this fed to this PTP connector and uh, after that it is rectified by using a bridge rectifier and after that it is filtered and then we have uh, connected to the 5 level power circuit and across this load resistor we are going to check the waveform output waveform from the DSO and next here this is the output waveform uh, what we have measured from the load resistor across the load resistor we have measured this waveform here you can able to see the file level uh, 1 2, 3, 4 and 5 so there are the, thus we have derived 5 level output by using this circuit here you can able to see the voltage level here the channel 1 voltage is 5 volt volt per division is 5 volt so approximately it is uh, peak to peak is 14 volt peak to peak voltage is 14 volt and next we can able to see the hardware working video Now let's see the hardware unit for the new 5 level active neutral point clamped converter project. This is a whole hardware unit what we are going to use for the 5 level NPC converter. This is a PIC microcontroller and this is a 12 volt 1 ampere we are going to for the use for the power supply. This is a 12 volt 5 tapping transformer. It is going to be used to power up the TLP driver board. This driver board has an individual power supply from this 12 tappings and this TLP driver board is going to isolate and amplify the pulses generated from the controller unit and the output of the driver board pulses are given to these MOSFETs to switch on and off here the power supply for the NPC converter we have used it this is a converter now I am going to switch on the controller and the TLP driver board now I am going to probe 
for the controller unit to see the check the pulses. For example, I will show one pulse alone. This is a 8 MOSFET pulse. I am going to show input uh, in, uh, that is a uh, controller output pulses will be around 5 voltage that we can able to see now and the driver output pulses we can able to see it over here for example i am going to show for the one pulse alone now we can able to see the pulse waveform how it is going to appear the probe digital oscilloscope through a system we are going to see it here this is a 5 volt yellow color is a 5 volt from the controller unit and green color is the green color pulse is from the output of the driver unit is given to the MOSFET now I am going to switch on the power supply for the converter unit the 5 level converter and the output we can able to check across this load resistor I am going to connect the probe across this load resistor and we can able to check the output This is the output waveform of the 5 level NPC. Finally, we have generated the pulse from the controller and given to the driver unit, and then finally, it is given to the MOSFETs to get the 5 level NPC converter. Next, we are going to see the specification of this project what we have used in this video. We have generated the pulse from the PIC controller PIC 16 of 877A and next the TLP250 driver board and the MOSFETs what we have used is IR of 840 and the power circuit working voltage is uh, 12 volt AC or 15 volt DC that is if 12 volt AC is converted to DC that voltage is provided to the main power circuit and next is power supply for the controller and the driver is 12 volt AC there we have a DC um, rectifier and filter from that we will be deriving a 5 volt and it will be given to the controller for the driver directly we will be connecting the 12 volt AC and next the load we have used is 5 watt resistor the project can be customized based upon the need of the customer so we can able to use customize this project do it yourself package this package is consists of a pic 16 of 877a controller and a tlp250 driver board and a ir of 840 which can be used for this uh, project the capacitor bridge rectifier and a load resistor transformers and a two pin power cards with two pin power cards and a general purpose board rmc wires and the project coding and the guidance of total of uh, two hours you can able to get guidance from the team of pantech e-learning and you can able to do the project maximum of total time for this guidance is two hours testing equipment will not be provided multimeter dso or cro pick programmer you have to make arrangements otherwise you can able to get separately from pantac e-learning you can able to visit the pantac e-learning dot com for further projects and any queries and for the training you can able to mail through training at pantac mail dot com and for the projects you can able to mail us at projects at pantechmail.com and for further information for various projects you can able to subscribe and you can able to get the informations updated thank you thank you all bye